Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to take a look at the inflated mat. And the name of this is really pretty self-explanatory. It's literally a giant mat that has been inflated. Like, that's what it is. The name is the description of it. And there's not too much you can do with it without spawning up another vehicle, but there are a few things you could do. For example, we could go and use the Earth and Sun gravity and Jupiter gravity and Moon gravity to do some things. So you could, like, say Sun gravity. See what it does there. Things look a little crazy on the edges, but then if you hit Earth gravity again, it does a little hop. It's a very tiny hop, and if you want it to hop more, you go Sun gravity, then Pluto, and then it'll really hop. We can get some airtime actually out of it. And then if you want to bring it back down to Earth really hard, you shouldn't use Sun gravity because that happens. Instead, you're better off using not, not Earth gravity, but a little bit more than Earth gravity. Because if you use just Earth gravity, well, it's kind of boring because this thing has a very low terminal velocity, which means. Its maximum falling speed is really low. For example, it's falling and it's probably hit terminal velocity by now. So no matter from how high you drop it, this is how hard it'll hit the ground. That is just how terminal velocity works. And I'm pretty sure that is its terminal velocity right there. So if you wanted to uh, do something more interesting, you go sun gravity, then Pluto, and let it go into the air a bit. If you're really impatient, you could use negative Earth to get it into the air. And then you could say do about 20 times gravity, or or 20 meters per second gravity and it starts to cave in on itself but it made it to the ground and well that's what it looks like after you do that it looks kind of weird uh, the other thing you could do is use the wind so let me reset this so we get a nice new one and you can push it around with the wind so we can say like 66 meters per second of wind pushing it that way and it gets shoved about real easily because it's it's actually really quite easy to move this thing with just the wind and if it gets caught on things bad things happen like right there this is not good and hello new mat the old one's broken. And you can also, you know, rotate it, like spin it around, and then the camera freaks out because it doesn't know what to do. And you can put more wind, and then that just breaks things, so don't do more wind. About 100 meters per second is probably about the limit that you can do. But you can just shove the mat all over the place until it gets stuck, and then that happens. So that's basically everything I could think of you can do with the mat with just the mat. Now, we could spawn up a vehicle and do things with a vehicle and the mat. And now that we have a vehicle, we have a lot more fun things we can do. For example, we could just drop the truck right on the mat and see how well it does at making the truck not get a lot of damage. So from a height like that, the truck got very little damage. And then driving off the mat, that's when it actually got damaged. So let me run that again. There is the damage the truck receives just landing on the mat. Rolling off the mat is another story, though. I think it's going to get more damage right here unless I do it nice and smooth. There we go. So take a good look at that. Got a little bit of damage in the front and the tailgate popped open. We're going to do the same drop, but this time the mat is going to be moved over and out of the way. So it's just going to hit the ground and you get to see a good comparison of how much the mat keeps the truck alive, basically. Because right here, the truck is totally non-functional and it looks damaged. The other one, it didn't even really look that damaged. Maybe like a, a minor bumper a minor front bumper damage and that's about it the tailgate being open that's just close the tailgate and you're good to go it's not like it's an issue without the mat yeah, that's a that's a ruined truck we could try dropping heavier things on the mat so let's uh, move the mat back into place because I don't know if it's on totally level ground right now and truck don't back into the mat we could do that later actually that sounds fun but for now we're gonna put the mat on the floor and then we're gonna get a heavier thing and drop it on it like the ball that's pretty heavy and we'll get it from a pretty high height, too, so it has a lot of speed going behind it. And I'll throw some slow-mo on this one, because it's kind of awkward to watch the ball fall because the camera freaks out. And 8 times slow-mo. It did... It, oh, the ripples! I was, uh, wow. Like, those ripples are kind of messing with my mind. They look cool. Um, But it did, it did help the impact of the ball, make sure it didn't get as damaged as it would have if I just dropped it and the mat itself withstood the impact without an issue it seemed like uh, so we can raise it up even more and have a harder impact and see if the uh, mat can survive that we'll get a fresh mat and this one will do it in real time the mat cannot survive that one let's see why I'm gonna watch it in slow-mo and see if I can tell exactly what happens balls coming balls coming impact and it inverts itself and then implodes or something and kind of explodes simultaneously that was uh 
unusual. I don't even know how to exactly describe that. Oh, oh, the ball was inside of it, ruining everything. Bad. No, don't do that. So, if you get big enough of an impact, you can uh, ruin everything. So, try not to do that. Oh, here's a dumb idea. Let's hit it with a helicopter. Although, the helicopter's all in the air and stuff. Soft landing for the heli. Yes, helicopter's fine. Can I take off from here? Oh, the blades are hitting the mat. We can't lift off. Worth a shot. I can just uh, smack it with the blades, though, and see what happens. That might be interesting. So I just uh, sit here, spin it up. Spin it up. Not much is happening. I'm a little too far away still. Get a little closer. Spin it up. Oh, it's broken. The mat is strong. The mat is too strong. I'm hitting it with the blades, but nothing's happening. It's a pretty strong mat right there. All right, uh, forget that then. That's not working out well. While we're on the uh, topic of flying vehicles, though, we could smash a plane into it. I'm not going to actually fly the plane because uh, that would require a lot of trial and error. Instead, I'm just going to drive the plane into it and see what that does. So I'll just set it right there. Reset it so it's not damaged because I heard a bang. And plane go hit Matt. Go, go, go. Full speed this time. Wow. It did a really good job of just stopping the impact. How, how damaged is the plane? Not that badly damaged for a 100 mile per hour collision. That's nothing. I want to do that again in slow-mo this time so I can kind of see how the mat reacts. Got to get a new mat and eight times slow-mo and I'm at a different angle accidentally, but that doesn't really matter. The wings coming in and just it just kind of absorbs it like I like guess nothing. It just absorbs it. Oh, that's weird. All right. So that's planes. Uh, what if we rammed a car into it? Uh, we'll start with the normal air car, like the 200BX. We'll get the LS version. Probably going to fall into the ground. It's so small. It's so small compared to the giant old Titan. It's like this little tiny car it looks like a toy car, especially compared to the mat. You can see just how big the mat is right here. All right, so for that crash, again, very minimal damage. The mat does a really good job of absorbing the impact gradually so the cars don't get that damage. Uh, we'll do that one one more time again in slow-mo, and then we'll use a faster car at a higher speed and maybe do that again even. It depends uh, how fast can we go. So 60 mile but, uh, per hour collision right here. And it's just slow deceleration with only a little bit of damage from the initial impact. That's nice. All right, we need a faster car. So let's, uh, we'll just use, I guess, the Bulleye with the 390 GTR one. Get the blue in it. And same idea. Should be about a 90 mile per hour crash this time. So it's a bit faster. The mat is not reset though. Ooh, that looks cool. The mat's like totally fresh. Oh, can I drive under it? Drive, drive, drive! Oh, he's going under it! Oh, I didn't know you could do that! Oh, no! Yes! No, baby! Oh, that was so cool. I did not expect that, but that was awesome. I was driving under the mat. Like, I couldn't have used a better car for that, to be honest. The wedge shape is just like, it's perfect for shoving a mat out of your way. Alright, so now here's a normal crash, actually, where the mat's not, like, above you in the air. It hits, and it just kind of eats me. But it doesn't damage me. Like, I could back... Well, if I wasn't stuck, I could probably back out of here and keep driving. Unfortunately, crashing into the mat is a little sticky. Like, you are not going to be able to drive when you're here. You're stuck. So we could reset it. And since that worked, we could always go a little bit faster, like the Impreza, which has a turbo button. So we could probably hit, like, 150, if not more. Look, 250, maybe even. Boom. It's going right through it, tearing it apart. But that's a 250 mile per hour collision, which should just absolutely demolish the vehicle. Yet it looks not that bad. Like it looks like it was in a crash, yes. But you would never say, oh yes, that was a 200 mile per hour crash because it doesn't look like that. How's the mat look? The mat really absorbed that impact. Like it had to get misshapen a ton, but it got it. It kept the car safe. So I wonder if the mat is stronger for an impact that comes from the side than above. 
Because it seems like that would probably have about as much force as the ball falling, I would think. I don't think the ball was falling that fast, was it? Maybe it was. Anyways, we're going to do this again, but full speed! And I keep using turbo this time. All the way through, and again, the mat just absorbs it. It looks like a funny shape, but it absorbs it. We need more speed! More speed! More speed! How much speed can we get? Not enough! I'm going to try to hit it diagonally, because that way I can get a little more speed out of this thing. I want to see how hard can I hit this mat. Because apparently it is very, very durable. So I'll reset the car right about there. And hopefully I'll be able to hit about 300 miles per hour with the car from this angle. Uh, yeah, just about. And that's four times slow-mo on it. And once again, the mat is able to hold the car. That is really impressive. You know what I need to do is I need to go to a bigger area and hit it even harder. So let's go ahead and move on over to uh, Grid Small Pure and try that out. So we're going to want pretty much the same setup as before. We're going to still use the Impreza. And then we're going to spawn up another vehicle. And this one will get to be the mat. First I'm going to move the Impreza out the way. And now where is the mat? I think I scrolled too hard. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. And then I lost it. There it is. Go ahead and spin this around and uh, we can go way far out. So I can hit this thing at like 500 miles per hour. And then just reset right here. Now I probably can't even see the map from here, but we'll see it soon enough. All I have to do is keep pretty much in a straight line and I should be fine. Follow the skid marks it may be. 400 mile per hour crash. That takes out the mat. The mat can't defeat a 400 mile per hour vehicle. And uh, neither can the vehicle. Like, it can't stand that. It glitched out as well. All right, let's, uh, let's do that one in slow-mo, though, so we can actually see exactly what happened. Because all I could see was just bang, bang, crash. And by crash, I mean the game. So my tires explode right there, which means I lose control. And then I just... Explosion, implosion simultaneously. Like, my car seems to explode. The map implodes. Well, then, that's what happens when you get crazy with things. Let's calm things down a little bit again and use something a little more sane like reset ah, ah. the cannon well first you know what just because i know people will say you should try crushing your car with the mat even though i don't think it'll very it'll do very much or be very interesting just just in, just in case yeah that's not very interesting the car looks undamaged it looks like the suspension is has a little more weight on it but the car itself doesn't appear to have any damage now if i go turbo i could just drive right out of it Although that did damage the car a little bit. So that's what happens when you drop the mat on the car, though. Just, uh, just to show you. Next, we could reset the mat and make the car a cannon. And I should probably put the cannon behind the mat because it makes it a little bit easier to hit it. Whoa. That was weird. Don't know exactly what the camera was doing to me there. Alright, so reset the cannon and then we just go shoot. Ooh, the ripples. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. Get closer. Reset the mat. Aim upwards and shoot. And I want to get a better camera angle on this one. Shoot it. Oh no, hit the wrong button. My finger slipped. Ooh. That's neat. It does uh it does get hit pretty good. Well, I don't know. Well, you know what I could do is I could do this. I'll uh reset the cannon and just keep shooting it. I am slightly deforming you in your face, but that's really all I'm doing. I'm just shooting cannonball after cannonball into you and you don't care. All right, let's try something really dumb. Let's put the cannon inside of the mat and then shoot a cannon from inside the mat. Oh, oh, that was, that was a lot cooler than expected. It's alive. It's like the blob. It's going to get you. It's alive! It's alive! It's slowly coming to absorb you! Is it actually moving? I can't tell for sure. Like, I think it might be just a little bit. It might be a little bit easier for it to move if I move the cannon up a little more. So if I put the cannon right there, the impact should be a little bit harder. I can't have the cannon bouncing all around like that. That's a problem. Okay. Is it moving? A little bit. A little bit, I think. It's a very, very slow movement. You could outwalk it. Well, you could outcrawl it, actually. 
Very slow, but it does look cool. It's like it's alive. I'm surprised it actually holds up to the cannon, though, shooting it from the inside. Can you actually drive around in here? Not really. I'm kind of under the mat and inside of it simultaneously, at least right now. But if I respawn the cannon, now I'm actually inside of the mat. Yeah! This is so dumb, I have to keep trying it, though. Let me just... Boom! Looks so weird from the inside. Alright, how about this? Since I know I could do things from the inside, what if we go back to the Impreza and make sure it's inside of the map and then turbo wait wait turbo I'm stuck I can't no it's not it won't let me like I'm hitting turbo right now the car's like I can't turbo the ground is too grabby worth a try we could uh, try lifting it up with the OVO 11 if I can remember the controls for it I always forget them you go like that there we go lift the mat no! Matt says no lifting! No lifting allowed! I wanna see that again, hold on. Lift it! Lift it! I'm doing it as slowly as I can- No! Alright, fine, no lifting the mat, I got it. What if I just push it forward? Apparently, OVO 11 plus Matt is just a really, really unhappy combination that caused the game to crash. So let's not do that anymore. Instead, let's uh, test how the map performs on water. So let's go to the port to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and get the truck and find the water. Where is the water? It's everywhere. I can go anywhere to find water. So we'll go right here and switch the truck to the mat. I don't think it's actually fully in the water. It is. So Matt is in the water and Matt glitched out. Don't put your Matt in the water apparently, at least underwater initially. That did not go well. A little bit above the water falling onto it. Seems okay. Looks like it's okay like that. But it looked like when I actually spawned it underwater, that's not happy. But like I spawned it right there and... Yeah, physics just froze and the Matt's just there. Don't spawn your Matt's underwater. The game does not like that one bit, so we'll put it back above water. It's so big, it's hard to manage it. But it looks like it's okay on the water. What if we drop it onto the water from a little bit of a distance, actually? Does that work, too? It, it looked iffy on that first one. I guess it's alright. So you can do that. And now we can drop a car on it this way and see if that works still or not. And I don't know why I hit the wrong button. Uh, so we'll go about this high. Mm, right, yeah, about there. Spawn it. Hope it hits. Good. Not good for the mat, though. That is a takedown from the truck. Alright, hold on. So the mat's falling. And then the truck's above it somewhere. Like a- Oh! What just- Oh, the truck was in the mat. Okay. Don't do that either. Apparently, mat and water mixes as well as OVO 11 and uh, mat. Which is not very good at all. Oh, hey! It just glitched out for no reason. There was nothing around you. Calm down, Matt. Ain't nothing here. It's like I'm talking to a real guy named Matthew. Okay. Like, it can't be touching the truck. The truck's way in the water. There's no way. Weird. It was totally fine doing that drop before. Okay. Right, it's enough of the mat in the water. It's uh, apparently angry that I got it wet and it doesn't want to be wet anymore. So instead, let's uh, go to Leap of Death because it's tradition and then we'll end the video there. Now, I honestly don't expect anything too interesting to happen, but... We gotta do it. We have to do it. It's tradition after all. So I'm gonna go ahead put the vehicle right about there. Make it become the mat and let's see what happens. Camera is a little inside the mat so we can take it out. And oh my goodness, I'm not touching the camera right now. Okay, so we're gonna do the camera manually because that's not good. I, I can't focus when the camera's spinning around all over the place like that. It's crazy. And this is probably the most relaxing leap of death jump I have ever done. Well, I didn't do the jump exactly, but still, the most relaxing leap of death ever. The mat just kind of slowly coasts down. I wasn't sure if it would do that, if it would get stuck on something, but it doesn't seem to want to get stuck. It's just so massive, it won't fit in the cracks that would catch it. It just goes right over them all. And it's just a nice relaxing tumble. That would be absolute chaos if you're on the main camera, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it's not as bad. Oh, yes, it is bad still. I mean, it could be... It's not as terrible as it was, but it's still bad. And this is real, real time, by the way. Like, this is not slow-mo. This is real time. Look at the top left. 
real time. I I guess it's just the way the mat is. Oh, is he gonna get stuck here? Nope. It's all. It's funny. It's going down the hill like it wants to be a wheel, but it's like a key. It's more of a cube shape. You're lucky that you're so squishy and that you're able to do wheel things. And am I really gonna let this thing go all the way down? I guess so. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Just say, oh, it's it. What if something interesting happens soon? That's the thing. I'm like wondering, what if something does happen and I don't get to see it? I want to make sure if anything happens, I'm here for it. I got to keep moving this camera around a lot. I hate when I have to do this because the mat just goes zoom and it's like, okay, new camera angle, zoom. Okay, new camera. Like, Matt, stop it. Just stop. I can't keep up. You're too whatever. I don't even know what to say now. It's just doing the same thing as before. Just chilling, making a relaxing video. I wonder if I put a car in it, if it would make it any different. That's what I'm going to try next time. So I'm going to put a car in it, then drop it. But for this one, I'll let it go all the way down. How long is this going to take, too? This is also the slowest leap of death ever. This has been already like two minutes, right? Maybe not quite. But by the time it gets to the bottom, it's going to have been two minutes. It'd suck if I look away for like a second to line the camera up and then like something interesting happens. I would be so mad. Just like, I'm trying to do the camera here and you mess everything up when I'm not looking. How could you? You better not do that to me. I could also have tried to do it on higher gravity as well, I guess, now that I think about it. That seems kind of cheaty. Oh, well, let's just destroy it. I want to see what it does in Earth gravity. Then we can destroy it. I really want to know what it'll do in this water. Because this water isn't like the normal water. I don't know why. It's just this water's weird. Like, if you get the boat that normally floats in the water and it floats on all the stock maps, it doesn't float in this water. I don't know why. It's just strange. It's strange, cursed water, I think. Maybe it has a... No, I was going to say it has a really high salt concentration. But then it would float more, so I, I don't know. Don't know why. Into the water, and no glitchiness for that one. But you glitch out in the other one, what's up with that? It's actually going to stay at that angle. How, uh, how weird. Alright, well, I think that's all I have to say here. It's uh, kind of just going through the water. It's going to sink eventually. Because this water's not real water. Next is... Sun... Gravity, or not sun gravity, because sun gravity would be too brutal. How about about 50 gravity? So now I can actually tumble down a little bit. I try to keep up, though. Wait for me! My camera's too slow. Alright, close the menu. I can see it tumbling. So, go! I wonder if it could crush a car if you use the higher gravity or not. Because it didn't crush it well with a normal gravity, but higher gravity, I don't know. Higher gravity might actually crush it. Well, it got stuck on the bridge. The bridge says, no, you are no longer going to do what you were doing. Oh, well. Well, that's that for the uh, high gravity test. So we can go ahead and say normal gravity. That doesn't look like normal gravity, does it? That's better. And then we're gonna go ahead and spawn up a vehicle inside of it. I'm just gonna go inside and spawn new. Did it work? Are we inside of it? Nope. I missed. No oh, wait, I am inside. Now it has a truck inside of it. Will it make much difference? Uh, not really. Doesn't look like the truck really does much because of just how big the mat is. It might fall a little bit faster, but that's about it. Alright, because I thought of it, I'm going to try to crush a vehicle with the mat at a higher gravity. Unless, ooh, the truck got damaged some, I think. Hello, truck, how are you doing in here? I can't see you. Right, let me freeze physics to look. Oh, the truck's actually mostly undamaged. I was expecting some damage there. 
Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another map and try to crush a vehicle with the mat at a higher gravity. The only thing I have to watch out for is don't crush the vehicle into the ground with a higher gravity. So I'm going to just uh, do that because I don't see anything happening here that's worth watching. Like, yeah, this boring. Next. Uh, next is let's uh, pop over to Desert Highway. And really the only reason I went here is just to get a change of environment because I was getting kind of bored of having the same thing all the time. So I said, let's go here. It's been a while since I've been here. And now I just got to go ahead and make this the mat and we can drop it on the truck. And just in case, I might as well do another uh, earth gravity drop, make sure that looks okay. And, you know, there's no damage to it like I thought there would be, or at least it was the first time. And then after that, we could try increasing the gravity and seeing if it does anything. So I did hear a little bit of a bang, but I don't see anything. Like, that looks undamaged. So, I'm going to say that's okay. And I don't know what I did to my headlights. Like, why are they... Don't ask. I don't know, okay? Now, but next, reset the mat and go to environment. And then we're going to increase the gravity to, uh, let's go about 20. Oh, that looked like it actually hit it. We have broken glass. What else do we have? Let's see here. We have broken glass and a little tiny itty bit of damage. We can uh, do it again. Oh, that's too fast. I gotta. You have to do the gra the gravity increase very gradually. So I'm gonna raise it up a little more, and uh, that way it allows me to uh, do it a little more gradually. So let it fall normal and then do 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 little by little. Nope, too fast. Try it again. Earth gravity reset. Little by little. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so far it doesn't look like it's going to survive. The thing looks like it's going to implode or explode or something plode in a few seconds. But I'm going to keep pushing it. There we go. We got a 29. I don't know how I was doing 50 gravity on the leap of death. I don't know. That's weird. I guess it was just the angle it was falling at. Uh, but that actually did some significant damage to the truck. So, you can crush a vehicle with the mat, you just can't do it in earth gravity. Alright, well, uh, I guess that'll do it, so until next time, this is YBR, I'll see you next time.